Find functional hilarity at the Biffa Emporium. Girl, it's what I heard. Allegedly. It's just the word. Allegedly. It's on the street. Allegedly. I sing to the beat. Allegedly. Lee, lee, lee. Allegedly. Lee, lee, lee. Allegedly. Lee, lee, lee. Allegedly. Child, I've been seeing Forrest Bussy. I done looked at it. I don't want to see it. I'm going to let it wink at you. I don't need it to wink at me. Everybody asking me about Forrest Bus, I didn't seen it. I ain't getting on the bus of his bus. I'm glad that he's free in his sexuality. But, um, mm -mm, that ain't for me. But let him, him, consenting adults, right? Get your coin. Doja is set to showcase as headliner for Victoria's Secret World Tour. Wait, they taking the underwear on tour? I thought people didn't want to see the show as it was. Now they getting the tour? Part fashion show, part documentary that will feature a Doja Cat concert. She don't even like her fans. Why not do Meg the Stallion, somebody more synonymous with draws? But I forget that Victoria's Secret actually started in Ohio, so having someone a little acist ray is on brand for them. I a o ne all ye o ne ikpe atle. O ye s ye s they all ye a se onky hey onky hey. All right, we gonna bring back the good old Latin of the pig, onky hey's, cause you know you two be listening. Girl, we ain't use that in a minute. Lil Wayne believes he's too awesome to have his voice affected by AI. Your voice is already AI. So how could they tell the difference? Is that what you mean? I don't think anything that you've come up with is that damn original because no one could understand what you're saying. You had a lean mumble, but that was in at the time. But now we're into coherence and consistency of which you have neither. I just, I've never heard a Little Wayne track that I liked ever. I figured you had to be drunk or heterosexual. And speaking of more rappers I can't stand, Boosie says he plans to cut a lot of people off. You gonna end up cutting a foot off if you don't get your insulin and your attitude together. Always worrying about the gays, but not your copays. That's why you out here hustling for insulin on Instagram. Would I consider doing story time videos? What kind of stories should I read? I know you don't think I'm going to talk about my life and tell my business. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Because -uh. I keep my business out the street, out the street. Child, my life for living, not for telling. In music, we care about news. Kiki Palmer announces a big boss tour on the heels of her sold-out DC show. Now, Kiki has always come out with music that we never really paid attention to, so I'm hoping that this can be her rebirth on stage, her rebirth of her music career. I mean, Normani ain't doing nothing, so Kiki Palmer may as well take that shine. 50 Cent tells Men's Health that between 03 and 05, he'd seen a version of every vagina out there. So you were a hoe. And you were still a hoe, and that's why you were in the anal with Vivica Fox, because you got bored with the puss. That's why you had to look at each and every one, because not one of them did it. You was looking for penis in a vagina. That's what you was looking for. I know that male hypersexuality before you just go on and admit you like the dick. But in idiot news, this fool, um, what's his name? Coy Riot, Kai sitting it, I don't know, something. The idiot, that's what I'm going to call him. He said he was going to give away PlayStation 5s in Union Square. All of Manhattan, some of Brooklyn, and half the Bronx showed up in Union Square within moments. The police had to respond. People were riding on cars. I can't believe people didn't get killed. It was like Black Friday on Overload. 65 people, including 30 juveniles, were arrested. I mean, they need to sue his ass. In the middle of summer, so the kids got off. Now, Beyonce, and I actually agree on something. So in her writer, she has a request for her own toilet seats. And as nasty as people is, and as much non-leg washing as is going on, 
Beyonce, I agree. Keep your legs free of a feces. Gwyneth Paltrow gives us a fridge tour to try to prove that she eat. Ain't nothing in there but drinks and condiments. I see one pie at the bottom and I bet you it's vegan. I don't see anything in here of sustenance. And you look like an uncooked chicken breast. I want to know who reanimated you. Just walking around the house like you're alive. You're a Purdue product if I've ever seen one. No lip heifer. Here are the few solids they pointed out. Eggs, olives, salsa. I don't believe none of it. The heifer don't eat. And you know what? That's probably food for the staff, the few little solids. Snooki calls Joy Behar the rudest celebrity she's ever met because she cornered her in a bathroom. I'm sorry, if some old bitty corners me in a bathroom, I'm a puncher in the belly plate. Don't you let no Karen Karen on you. And old heifers like that got way too much audacity. They feel they have a right to shake their finger. You break it off and remind them, you better worry about your osteo and not about me. The royal family think they doing something by being radio silent on Meg's 42nd birthday. She didn't want to hear from your asses no way. She did not need a happy birthday from an onky hey. Okay, okay. In other kids are idiots news, Hampton's teens tossed 20 pound striped bass off roof of fancy eatery onto diners. Imagine if you got killed by a falling fish. In more Anki Hay news, Jax Taylor claims that he wants the best for Tom Sandoval after mocking his former co-star. You don't want what's best for him. You just want that Vanderpump check again. You also, like Carlos and Nene, are begging to get back on Bravo. It ain't gonna happen, Acist Ray. It ain't gonna happen. Oh yeah, this pig Latin's gonna work out fine. And that way you ain't gotta worry about your kids and your boss hearing. All they owe ye, I'm ye, urshi, el they owe ne, utwe, ukfe means. And we're gonna close it out with someone we've already been side eyeing. Now, if you watch Housewives of OC, the new heifer Jennifer is dating a gigolo, Ryan, and now he's been accused of elder financial abuse by an 82 year old in a since dismissed lawsuit. So he's not only humping on married women, he's conning oldsters. That's why I call him a gigolo, because he's selling to ever who buying. The lawsuit in 2018 claimed that he agreed to purchase a 16.1 acre residential parker for $7.9 million. But of course, he failed to make payment and refused to remove a lien on the property of $926,000 to protect him from the FTC. What are these Anki Hayes doing? And he say he still ain't been able to sell the $8 million house or piece of property and has been damaged in excess of a million dollars. However, the lawsuit was dismissed before it went to trial. Now, I think Tamara just wants to start mess, but I do think they should get Jen away from this guy. He's giving a dirty John T. Alleged what? Alleged who? Allegedly, Lee, Lee, Allegedly. Don't blame. Don't sue. Allegedly. Allegedly. Allegedly.